Okay, so the last couple of days, we've been learning adding and subtracting polynomials. Today, we're gonna to take it to the next level and multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So what that's gonna mean is we're gonna have something with one term that we're multiplying by something with multiple terms. Right, so like if I had negative three x squared, one term, times something with several terms, minus x squared. So you see that one term multiplied by something, this one is three, three terms, so that's gonna be a trinomial, just like we learned at the beginning. We have monomials, binomials, trinomials. <coughs> Um, so basically what you're going to do when you have one thing on the outside times several things on the inside, you're going to do the same thing you know to do with any number, and that's going to be use our distributive property. Multiply the thing on the outside by all of the pieces on the inside. So we're going to do negative 3x squared times 7x squared. How we're going to do that is negative 3 times 7, which will give us negative 21. And x squared times x squared will give us x to the fourth. One term minus, well, we don't know if it's plus or minus yet. We have negative 3x squared times negative x. Now a negative times a negative is actually going to give us a positive. We don't have a coefficient here, so we're going to leave our 3 x squared times x is going to give us x to the third. Now negative 3x squared times 4 is going to be negative 12x squared. Now we're going to check and see, is this in standard form? Is it from greatest to least? And it is, so we're done. We've multiplied our polynomial by a monomial. One thing that you might end up seeing, they're not always so simple where it's just one thing times one thing and we're done. Sometimes they're really big and you will have to distribute more than once. Um, so for example, if it looked like this, three times five x squared plus two x minus four minus x times 7x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now at first glance, it was like a really long problem that just kept going, but you know how to do each piece of it. So we're going to first distribute both of them separately, because in our order of operations, we always take care of our parentheses first, and then multiplication, and then addition and subtraction, right? So we're going to start by distributing what's on the outside to every piece on the inside. Three times five x squared is gonna be three times five, which is 15 x squared, plus three times two x, three times two is six x, three times negative four is gonna give us negative 12. Now we have this minus, again we're going to distribute this to all three things inside the parentheses, and we're going to do x times 7x squared, which is going to give us 7x to the third, plus x times 2x, which is going to give us 2x squared, and x times negative 3, is going to give us negative 3x. Okay, we're not done yet though, because we still have this minus sign here. So we have to combine these doing what we learned yesterday. So first things first is we're going to line up them, line them up over each other in the columns where they match. So we have 7x to the third, this is a positive. Oh wait, no, this is not first. The other one's first. Or this minus that. So we're gonna put this one on top. 15x squared. This is positive. 
positive 6x and minus 12. So let me section that off so it's clear. We're going to line them up. Now 7x to the third doesn't line up with any of these, right? So we're just going to put it out in front. 2x squared is going to line up with Seven x to the third. Two x squared is going to line up with our fifteen x squared, and then a negative three x. We don't have anything that matches the twelve. We've lined them up as best as we can, and then we're going to subtract just like normal. Sorry, that's hard to see. We're subtracting this from the or this from this. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to say 0 minus 7x to the third is just going to give us minus 7x to the third, right? Then if I'm going to say 15x squared minus 2x squared, I'm going to get 13x squared, 6x minus negative 3x is actually going to give me 6x plus 3x, right? When we minus the negative, it's the same as adding. So we're going to get 9x and then my negative 12 minus 0 is just negative 12. Now is this in our standard form, greatest to least? Yes, so we're done. So we went from this huge, long, complicated thing to still kind of complicated, but not as bad. <laughs> All right. One more thing. Almost done. This is if they're complicated and you have to multiply twice, something else you might see is you can have these on both sides of an equation. You can have complex polynomials on both sides of an equation and still solve for your variable. So we're going to start off with 2x times x plus 4 plus 7 equals x plus 8 plus 2x times x plus 1 plus 14. Plus 14. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we've been doing, simplifying, except this time I'm saying solve for x. But that's way too complicated to just try to figure it out. We're going to do it one step at a time, and we're going to figure it out. Now first things first, we have something on the outside of a parenthesis, so I'm going to distribute. 2x times x and 2x times 4. 2x times x is going to give us 2x squared. 2x times 4 is going to give us 8x. And then we're going to have plus 7 left over. Equals x plus 8 plus, we have to distribute this, 2x times x and 2x times 1. 2x times x is going to give us 2x squared. 2x times 1 is going to give us 2x plus 14. All right, now we can actually simplify this over here a little bit more, right, by doing x plus 8 plus this polynomial. And we'll group our like terms together. So 2x is by itself, plus we have 2x and 1x. So 2x plus 1x is going to be 3x, and then we have 8 and 14. 8 plus 14 is going to give us 22. So all of that equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 7. Now we solve for x by trying to get all of our x's on one side together, and then our coefficients on one side together. Makes sense. <laughs> so first things first, let's try to get our x's over here. 
I'm going to go minus 2x squared. And then I'm going to go minus 2x squared. Because whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Now these are going to, 2x squared minus 2x squared is going to be 0. So those are going to go away. But over here, I actually also have 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. So those just went away, and we were left with 8x plus 7 equals 3x plus 22. So now I'm going to keep trying to get my x's together. Minus 3x minus 3x. Now 3x minus 3x is 0. So those go away, and 8x minus 3x is 5x. Now I want to get my coefficients together. Minus 7, or not my coefficients, my constants. Minus 7, minus 7, 22 minus 7 is going to be 15. If 5x equals 15, we have 5 times x. We're going to undo that operation by dividing by 5. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. Okay, so my phone died right before I got to the answer to this, and it's x equals 3 when you finish everything out.